Hello there. Today in the series of land vehicles, I will briefly introduce you to the Dingo 2 HD 4x4 Ambulance. The safety of soldiers has a special priority in military operations. With the Dingo family, Kraus Maffei Wegmann or KMW has developed a highly mobile wheeled vehicle that uncompromisingly meets this requirement thanks to its protection concept. In cooperation with the German Defense Authorities, the Dingo was tested and qualified in accordance with official test conditions. The vehicle impressively demonstrated its outstanding properties in extensive tests against ballistic threats, anti-tank mines, artillery fragments and IEDs. The risk of injury to the occupants was reduced beyond the prescribed level. Thus, the Dingo family has a level of protection that has not been achieved by other vehicles in its class. With a safety cell, KMW guarantees direct occupant protection against pressure waves and ballistic threats. A mine-proof seating system prevents the transmission of blast energy to any of the crew members. The protection-optimized stowage concept for equipment and personal equipment generally also protects the occupants from the secondary effects of mine and ID pressure waves. Combat wheels with run-flat rings ensure sufficient residual mobility over 50 km in the event of a destroyed tire casing or loss of pressure. This ensures that after an attack it's possible to leave the immediate area of danger under one's own power. An integrated NBC protection system also allows safe use in contaminated environments. Probably no other Bundeswehr vehicle has saved as many lives as the Dingo. As an all-protection transport vehicle or ATF, it's particularly in demand on convoy or patrol trips. Due to its relatively small dimensions, narrow and winding streets and built-up areas can also be easily driven on. Its Unimog chassis makes it agile and off-road. And of course, as I said, the Dingo is also armored. This armor can withstand a few kilograms of TNT, you know these explosives, and light machine gun fire. Its weapon station can be operated under armor protection, although there is no weapon station in the one of today. The ATF Dingo can be armed usually with the MG3 machine gun, the 40mm automatic grenade launcher or a .50 heavy machine gun if it's not an ambulance. The Dingo can accommodate up to 8 people usually. The Bundeswehr owns more than 500 Dingoes in different versions. They are mostly used in the army and in the armed forces base. One of the most important tasks of paramedics is the fastest possible rescue of wounded soldiers on the battlefield, their first aid and then appropriate medical care. They often risk their own lives under enemy fire. In its various ambulance versions, the Dingo 2 makes a decisive contribution to improving protected casualty transport. The Dingo ambulance vehicles based on the Dingo 2 HD 4x4 chassis are adapted to the respective customer requirements and reflect the different strategies involved in rescuing and caring for the wounded. The ambulance vehicles and the other members of the Dingo family have the same level of protection and mobility as comparable combat vehicles both in rough terrain and in difficult combat conditions. In addition, all ambulance vehicles are designed with a continuous safety cell in order to facilitate communication between the driver and the first aid area to offer the crew in the rear area an orientation option through the large windscreen and to enable easy access from one area to the other. The Dingo 2 HD 4x4 ambulance also has a tailgate that can be opened across the entire width of the vehicle which allows casualties to be loaded comfortably and independently. And the equipment features of the Dingo 2 HD 4x4 ambulance vehicles according to the manufacturer are it has up to two wounded people that can be transported lying down and given medical care, one in intensive care and one in standard care. It has a high flexibility in the field due to the variably arranged medical devices. It is a simple, ergonomically optimized, ordered independent loading and unloading system for the wounded. It has a large cooling and warming compartment. 
It has sufficient storage, storage space for medical equipment and consumables. It has a large electric tailgate that can be opened across the entire width of the vehicle, as I said. It has an interior height of 1,60 m, a protected cell volume of 12.5 cubic meters, a potential for kit weight of 2 tons, a total weight of 14.5 tons, and an improved protection and uh, mobility properties compared to the Dingo 2. And the product features or the stats, according to the manufacturer, are a length of 6,60 m, a width of 2,39 m, a height of 2,85 m, the total weight of up to 14.5 tons, an engine power of 225 kilowatts, and a range of more than 800 kilometers. And of course, it's also protected against mines, ballistics, ID, and NBC. And it has some more features according to the manufacturer. It has up to four crew members and two wounded lying down, as I said, with one in intensive care and one in standard care. There's a passage between drivers and first aid room. It has a smooth running sequence independent loading and unloading system for the wounded. It has a large electric tailgate that can be opened across the entire width of the vehicle. I can't stress that often enough. It has a large cooling and warming compartment for blood preserves and also for infusions. It has sufficient storage space for medical equipment and consumables. It has a, the passive or round protection for the crew against mines, shelling and booby traps. That's those IEDs like all the others have. And of course, it also has the high level of off-road capability thanks to the unique structural connection to the safety cell to the chassis while retaining the chassis frame's torsional flexibility. And if you want to know more about interesting military technology, you'll find my next video right here in the end screen. There are a lot of Dingoes 1, Dingo 2 and soon Dingo 3 as well. And I'll see you there. I'll be back.